we're here in lovely Wales today and of course we've driven through some lovely countryside to get here Landegla, Langothlin of course we're at the foot hill of a lovely castle just outside the town of Langothlin and Wales is a lovely part of the world and as you're driving through and you're looking at these old villages and you're thinking of how they used to be in the past and they've not changed much to this present day it's a lovely wonder, it's a lovely thing, isn't it? It's a lovely thing. And as I was driving here tonight, I come across this little tiny village and in the village there was a little square and a little circle of houses and in the middle of the green there was a little well. And I thought, I wonder how deep that bloody well is. Well, I went across the well and I chuck a stone down the bloody well and I looked down the bottom and never bloody heard a thing. I thought, well, that bastard's deep. That bloody bastard is deep. So I walk across and I pick up a railway sleeper that was on the ground not far away and I drag it across on my shoulder and I bloody got it up on the side and I tippy tippy on and straight down the bloody hole it went and I was listening out and soon ever I looked bloody round there was a bastard goat. He was running towards me, this bloody goat, he was flying, he was nasty bastard. He was a nasty bastard goat. And he was flying towards me. And he jumped straight down the pissing well. Bloody goat, down the bloody well. All I see was his little pink asshole disappearing into the distance. That's all I bloody saw. And I thought, well, bloody hell, that was strange. I thought I was a goner with him, the bloody nasty goat. But not long after, a man come across, he said, Excuse me, sir, I don't suppose you've seen a goat anywhere? I said, No. I said, I've not seen no bloody goat. He said, Well, he couldn't have gone very far. He's tied to a bloody sleeper.